Yo, 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 you two, what to do? Hydrix69, aka your mom's favorite mobile boy, back with another video. And today, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my biggest three secrets on how to get better on Fortnite. It's gonna be tips and tricks that you may not have heard before from any other player, and they're really good, so make sure you watch all the way throughout the video because I got good gameplay as well to back it up all the way through. I carried a bunch of um, random squads to get some pretty high kill games. If you guys would like to win some free V-Bucks, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and drop a comment down below. Once we hit 2,500 subscribers, I'll be doing a V-Buck giveaway and giving back to you guys. If you guys are buying any of the new Halloween skins coming out, I believe Ghoul Trooper will come out tonight. Make sure you use code HYDRIX69 in the item shop. I'll pin the comments so you guys know how it spells because it's definitely going to help out our channel and support both Colton and I. My fourth tip and tricks kind of secret is to make sure you guys play with claw. Four finger claw in my opinion is better than six finger just because it takes a lot less time to learn and I don't think there's too much of an advantage from playing from four to six. You might be able to scope in a little bit quicker but honestly the amount of time it takes to get an extra two fingers kind of used to playing with claw I think it's just as good as if you stick with four finger claw and take that extra time to just stay in practice with with four fingers and get comfortable with that since i started using four finger claw i immediately saw the difference it helps you so much in all aspects of your game accuracy building editing it just makes everything pretty quick and a lot easier than you normally would have it and you'll just see like an improvement all around in your gameplay which is super nice you'll be able to get a lot easier high kill games as well just because you don't have to stress out as much with two fingers when i watch nightshot play because he only does two because he doesn't play too much uh, i notice sometimes like he has to do stuff so much quicker with two where you can kind of just relax if you have four fingers you don't have to move as quick around on the screen my next tip would be to watch a lot of sweaty players and kind of learn how they play when you watch somebody who's better than you or really sweaty um, notice what they do and if you wouldn't do something that they would maybe try and implement like what they do in their gameplay how sweaty they are into yours because it's just going to help your gameplay out a lot and you won't get stuck in situations being like oh i don't know what to do here when all you have to do is watch like some of the good guys and you'll know what they do and if they do it obviously you should be doing it because guys like mongrel mr savage mitro benji are the ones i'd recommend watching and watch their 2v2 wagers right now which they're doing a ton because that's going to teach you how to play super sweaty and up close when you have to box fight people because that's really where i die a lot i know and i'm trying to get better at is like when i box up if i'm low on health and watching the 2v2 wagers of the box fights they're doing right now i definitely recommend that because that'll help you in your gameplay so much because you'll just learn like ways to get out of situations where before you probably wouldn't have been able to get out of and it would have been a lot harder to get shots on somebody if you guys play duos or squads a lot another big thing you can learn from watching those top guys is how they communicate they're always yelling at each other and calling out different people where they are so everybody in the squad at all times knows where people are and playing like that i think is super sick um, it's funny at times when mongrel will just yell i had no idea this guy who came up to me was not on my team i thought he was one of my teammates because i was just doing randoms and didn't know uh, what skins I was playing with but that scared me so much I don't know how he didn't kill me there my last and kind of biggest tip that's going to help you a ton it's one thing I've noticed in my gameplay that made me the better player that I am is playing zone wars with people that are better than you if you play with people that are your skill level obviously you're not going to get better and you're just going to remain the same but if you play against sweatier players and guys who can do stuff you can't do you're going to learn a lot from them and you're going to learn a lot of new techniques that you can use in your gameplay that'll help you go up against bots and sweaty players something i've been doing lately is playing zone wars a lot more and it's been really fun it's super fun because it's not boring like some games can be where you just run around the map and can't really find anybody everything is super quick and the games don't take 
take long. So you can just keep playing game after game and not get bored of it. I end up playing a lot longer than I usually think I'm going to just because of how much fun it is and I know it's helping me get better. So playing Zone Wars is something I would definitely recommend. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you walk, watch all the way through to see the final kills because some moments were really intense, especially this last part. But I hope this helps you guys in your gameplay and you learn a lot from it. You definitely should be able to. And I'm out. Peace!